बार कर लो and your new look yes. it's suiting you very much thank you so much thank you so much so i also asked you can you like a little bit what are you seeing through all the painting so what is what is your initial reaction you know like many of us i, I know for years i have been very fond of art um i've always seen on explored new artists with new gifts and mujhe art se bada lagav isliye bhi hai ki 
just like cinema, it has a way of imitating life and being drawn from life, especially with an artist like John Fernandes. He was a realistic form of an artist. He, he chose this form. Everything was about realism. He had actual models posing for him at a time when um, uh, fine art was more, you know, modern art was taking birth in the fine art space. He did both fine art and commercial art. But tonight, what is really, really special is that there is a love story love story. A love story which I very proud of saying that it happened in my country, it happened in our people. This is art ka ek interpretation. Hai. Artists are somewhere, their expressions are somewhere. Many gifted people uh, are living in our country. The But when I got the literature for today's exhibition, and when I got to know the, the love story of John and Agnes, um, they were like a team. They had everything they had to say without saying It's almost like she says, um, Art was John's first love. I was his second. Bohat kam log hote hain jo who make peace with that as a concept. Um, they built a home and a world where, till his last day, through all his accomplishments, he told Agnes to do three things, amongst many other, but the three that I know of. First was that she should hold this exhibition in Jahangir Art Gallery because in 1991. He started his first solo exhibition right here. And today I feel privileged that he has called me for this, this moment where she's keeping her promise to her loved husband and a great, great artist. Um, I am extremely humbled and very touched that you thought of me. I am very, very happy that I'm here to be a part of that. So, well, uh, so are we. No, and, and I hope there's more romance like that, where you explore life, where you go through whatever it is that you experience and you remember that there is a togetherness, like she says, a soulmate. Yes. I got soulmate. Now, listen to this romance, I'm single. Hu. <laughs> Obviously, because, you know, you keep inspiring to find that, that, that it thing, the je ne sais quoi factor. But it's lovely to have you all here. Enjoy. Do you like painting? Yes, I, in fact, Picasso is a form of which is why I loved his uh, watercolors. Oil to patience hai nahi mujhme. Okay, oil dry hoga, phir second layer aega. Ye sab nahi hota mujhse. Lekin watercolors I love, mixed medium I love. And when I'm very inspired, I make something. I start ke main aaj I will make Madhuga's eyes, for instance, and they end up becoming Buddha. They they just come out the way they want. So no, I'm not a trained artist, but I have great love for art. मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अगर हम में कुछ चीजें छुपी हो जो हमारी खूबी हो, if you really take a pen to paper also and doodle with it, you'll be amazed what you can create with it sometimes in a moment of being completely inspired. So yeah, I love art, very fond of it. Ma'am, what was that thought you spread the love? Sorry. What was that thought who made this painting and all? What was the thought of? Yeah, who made this painting? You are John's inspiration, yeah. his muse. Yeah. Uh, how, how, how does it feel reliving his memories here today at the same Actually, living in the exhibition, here, I relive John. He lives in my heart and soul and in his art. Yeah. Center look. Say. See, you asked me a question saying how. How, how do you feel reliving John's memories here today at this exhibition? Mm, I feel great, of course, but actually John is in my heart and soul, and I, he, he lives in his art. Every day I see him in the morning, afternoon, <laughs> night, you know. House. It's not necessary that I should have an exhibition to really. It's, you know, I relieve every moment of the day. That's special. Well, as you said, you know, uh, yeah. you love art. So I want to ask you how important is art in, you know, in a person's life? Like yeah. you have uh, paintings at your place also, like when you're looking at a vivid art photo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. मेरे घर में अब दीवारें नहीं बची हैं जहाँ पर मैं एक और पेंटिंग टांग सकूँ। It's packed, so I have a beautiful temple at home. और टेंपल के दरवाजे के बाहर भी there is just one wall and that wall is also packed with some 
uh, seven beautiful rishis. I wanted the Sapt Rishi outside. So there is no place there. So that would have probably been the only wall where there was still scope, but there is no place there. I just feel like I love depth. You know, the way people look at a window and they look out at a view and they see depth. Sometimes when you look at a painting and you revisit that painting again, you keep seeing new things. Yeah, every time it has it. So, when the mood is good, the painting is very beautiful. If the mood is bad, the painting is very beautiful. So, I think it's, it's really about. That's why we have to do this in the past. Because everyone gives them crayon and a piece of paper. Because you can bring that imagination and that world with a view, uh, which is so, so important for the good health of your heart of your spirit, um, they truly are a window of your soul. There is a way that art expresses itself. I'm not a connoisseur, but I get the feeling. When I look at a painting, I get the feeling. And, and I think that to me is absolutely fabulous form of art. Uh, okay, now we uh, are talking about films. Uh, like, have you seen any of the recent films? You know, many of the films like Dear Zindagi have done. Yeah, so, this yes. was the last Bollywood film that you saw. I saw Dear Zindagi. It okay. was the last film I saw. Right. And fabulous performances. I think Indian cinema over the last one decade has started coming of age. Uh, it's beautiful to see commercial actors and non-commercial actors coming in, kind of crossing over so comfortably directors risking scripts that were typically not considered commercial, um, making films without singing and dancing, uh, unheard of from the film industry we knew it to be. This is a great time to be a technical, uh, a technician in the film industry or an actor, uh, director, uh, cinematographer, doesn't matter. Any creative field uh, attached to the Indian cinema today uh, very exciting times and I can't wait for the world to wake up to our kind of films because for a very long time we made such films that we liked only the rest of the world. The rest of the world was only a musical, it's a musical drama, musical romantic film. But now we have a script, we have screenplays, we have uh, a beginning, middle and an end, the way scripts are written today. It's excellent for us. This is my last question. <laughs> like always, because we all miss you on screen, so everyone misses you. You know, this I always say is, <laughs> is my God's greatest gift to me that despite my very limited work, done 35 films yes. in, in 13, 14 years, this has been my greatest turning. Is that my audiences and people such as yourself have always made me feel like you need to come back, we yeah. miss you. Uh, and so the little pressure does come up that I don't want to come back and disappoint you. I much rather wait and now come back with something that you say, ah, Sush, now that's what we're talking about. That's taking a little bit of time, but I promise you I'm not going anywhere till I give you that. Thank you. Okay. Actually, you will have all seen that John's works out. One more beautiful than the other. So it was really a difficult task choosing the paintings. It was like searching, you know, the good ones, like searching a needle in a haystack. It was that difficult. But it took us a while and in the end we came up with a show and there you see the work. Beautiful. Uh, see, as you look at John's works, uh, each, each one of his paintings are as she said, one better than the other. So it's, it's for us to decide now which is better for us. But there's not even one painting which you look which will say it's not good. So it becomes very, very hard to choose the top and then, you know, go down or whatever. So, you know, this is like his, his top works, you see. And as you look around, there's beauty in each and every piece of work which you see here. So for me, it's, it's been, it's, it takes a lot of time to do this effort to put all these all these paintings here but but you know John's work is such that you will find your pieces which you like and which you want to rate as your top and then you know the next and next and next so it's it's a long process but it, it's really fun doing it and finally 
this is what we have. Excellent job. Very nice. Okay, Sushmita, last question. आपसे आपको कौन सा सबसे favorite कोई if you if if you have to pick one, so which was the one which uh, well that won't be fair because it's very that will not be fair <laughs> because yeah because it's it's very different. There are no two pieces here जहाँ पर आप देखकर कहेंगे they are so similar or they have the same feeling or the same vibe. But I have to say, the one that had me stumped, like I stopped, was this one, the speaking eyes. It was just something about the strokes. You know, when we make a dress, the fabric of the dress falls down. To do that, it's just the strokes of brushes so casually. It's beautiful. But those eyes, oh my God, those eyes. She's apparently right now a mum of two. I was just asking, she's an actual model who posed for him. And she's in Switzerland, sorry. Yes, she she's is. In, yeah, she's yeah, in, she's in, do we know her name? Rucha. Rucha. So that is Rucha. Rucha Vedya. Vedya. And this is how amazing Agnes is. She remembers everyone's names, where they are, yes, and what they're doing. Me, and she's actually uh, the muse for John, who also got him all of her students, because she's a teacher with the convent at that point. Uh, and they became further inspirations for him to paint. There she is. You have one live model right here. Come say hi. So one of them is here. I was so fascinated. That's her painting. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. There she is. John's painted her a few times. Right there. Okay, pan camera. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so, so, so much. 
I will cherish it. John's property. Oh, you did get that done as well. Then that was his dream. So when did you? One thing, 2014. So you released it back in 2014. I thought those were still pending. No, it wasn't. Oh my God. Okay, someone help. Oh wow, look at that. Ma'am, can I be here? Ma'am, both of you, please. Oh wow, look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you very, very much. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Nandini, thank you for everything. It's nice meeting all of you. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us about John's exhibition and what's your contribution in the same Firstly, John's exhibition is a treat because each of his works are so exclusive in, it, in themselves. Each one is so pretty and so beautiful. There's a lot of depth in each of the paintings. So for me, it's like the best. It's, you know, it's right there. And, you know. and uh, as far as my contribution is concerned, you see, I've curated the show, so which involves a lot of back, background work right from planning the artworks we want to put, right from uh, getting the in invites out to people, the whole uh, opening party, etc., dealing with the media. So it, there's a lot of effort put into each of these, a lot of detailing goes to plan a show of this size, because this is not a small show. As you can see, there's a lot of works here. And uh, it's probably amongst its best shows as well, I would say. And, and there's a lot of small nitty-gritties which goes on behind the scenes to get it up to this level. I mean, what you see is the final uh, event, you see. Now, we just hope that our, my aim and Agnes's aim is to make sure that we are able to get his works out to the audience so that uh, the people can, who aspire to have his works can own them and have them in their houses, in their drawing rooms or in their offices. And that's the real, that would be the real satisfaction, is to get it out there, because that's what an artist always wants. His paintings hang in the places of people's houses or offices, etc. So we just hope that... Oh, the planning starts long back. We do it in bits and pieces. And uh, maybe some parts were worked on months ago. And then before the exhibition, the run-up two months before the real detailing starts, the, you know, perfecting it, refining it, and it takes around that much time. And uh, this time, though, we were short in time. We, we are really about two weeks short of time. We hope we had the two weeks extra so we could, you know, reach out to more people. And we hope it gets out, the word gets out there so that the people can really come and appreciate his work and own them, etc. Thank you. Welcome. Actually, uh, you asked me how do I relive the, I can't get that question actually. Memories, really my memories actually, John is in my heart and in my soul. I don't, have to ha don't need to have an exhibition to relieve his memories. Because every morning, afternoon, night, I see his works. So he is there with me every moment of the day. Actually, uh, the idea of having an exhibition in Jahangir was always John's. You know, uh, one I had in 2008 in dedication after his death. And then I wanted to have actually a retrospective show, but it was not possible to get everyone's painting. So we had this one with his whole lot of works, putting it together. It was a little difficult task, not little, a very difficult task, you know. And uh, it took us a while to search the 
paintings because one is better than the other. But we did it, and now we can see it all on the walls. Hmm. I have to answer that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sushmita Sen inaugurated the show. It feels great. It was like John's dream fulfilled because John always felt like, you know, painting Sushmita. And when she uh, became Miss, or she was crowned Miss Universe, he uttered, model should be like shush, tall, What's that? elegant, beautiful and dignified. These were his words. Hmm. Hmm. The coffee table book also was John's dream. He always wanted to have a coffee table book. And I fulfilled his dream in 2014. That was again a very, very, very difficult task, searching for the best of paintings to put in the book. Because it was, as I said earlier, it was search, like searching uh, from the transparencies, searching the best transparencies, like searching uh, a needle in a haystack. It was that difficult. But we made it. And uh, we released it in 2014 at India Art Festival. And it was Anupam Kher who did the honors. Uh, I actually do not want to add anything. The paintings say a lot, and each painting has a story to tell. So you can all have a wonderful time talking to the paintings, and they will tell.